working with Eric's honors drawing class. And we're brainstorming, we're brainstorming, and thinking about community. And the idea came up to do the in main line instead of just Radnor. I don't know if you all saw the pictures that I shared, but like there were just probably at one point we had like yeah, 40 kids in this room, just busy little bees working on stuff just to get it all together. One of the most interesting parts I thought was the Overbook School for the Blind. I don't know, I thought the architecture was really cool. And I thought it would be really cool to incorporate like an eye as a sorts, because even though they can't really see, it's like the teachers are helping them to learn. And then in the center is the teacher and the pupil. When I was researching it, I really like found like the true um, like emblem of the of Radnor Township. And I kind of like changed some stuff and added some stuff from like R Radnor High School, like the mascot. And like there's a tree with the Radnor Trail, which I know a lot of people use, and kind of just making it memorable. One of the, um, we have two ceramics classes here. We have an intro where the students learn basic building skills, and then we have an advanced. And um, this technique right here, where you put a slip on wet clay and then you literally scratch it, scraffito means to scratch. Um, the students took the drawing from whoever did it and they um, scratched the design into it. So not only were they, they were also applying the skills that they have learned in our curriculum. kids were a great fit for this because uh, they're at a level now where they're drawing, uh, their drawing skills are, are just uh, reaching new heights. Where you guys just really uh, embraced it, researched each locale, and your drawings suggest uh, you know, efforts in your research. <laughs>